So I think it's about time we do something else. I think it's about time we talk about the future. Future of sales, future of marketing, future of companies, future of society even. So I've invited a very intelligent person that knows way more than me about future and everything surrounding that. Stefan, thanks for joining the show. Hi, maybe, Michael. <laughs> maybe you explain a bit what you do. Uh, hi, Michael. Nice to meet you. So yeah, my name is Stefan van List. I work as a one-man army on all that is foresight. And that means that the interplay of foresight, uh, innovation and sustainability, it's my uh, playground. Yeah. And that means that I, yeah. I do like 50% of my work uh, are lectures and work workshops and design sprints and the other 15% is long-term uh, process moderation on foresight within companies you, or organizations. You, you might want to go a bit deeper now and explain what you mean with foresight. It's like literally trying to predict what could happen or what uh, could get me out of business or just come uh, on. A lot of people think I have a crystal ball at of home, course. which is you not do. Liquid. Don't say it to the people. Well, yeah, maybe that's a good sales soup. trick, but, um, but yeah. the, the truth is that uh, it's not uh, uh, future prediction. No, it's uh, systematically, uh, how can I say, documenting what possible futures are out there. Yeah. And why would you do that? So ending all in the singularity, right? Probably, <laughs> yeah, probably one yeah. day, maybe one okay. day. But uh, you, 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 doc systemic you systematically document all possible futures that might impact your business mm -hmm. in order to make you much more resilient. Makes That's sense. it. So what, what's the model behind that? How do you do something like that? Well, it's a, you do four things. You do four yeah. things. First, you go, you look back. And that's maybe weird when you think about the future. You mm -hmm. look back. You look back and you think of what were the big milestones in my own history? What's my heritage? What's, what's my DNA? So when you say DNA, that also includes existing customers, past customers, also the customers. It's not only the company itself, because I see a lot of companies that will only reflect on their own, not always on the market or the customers themselves. Yeah, it's, it's everything. It's a 360 around all your relations with the outside world, which are your customers, but maybe also stakeholders, maybe mm -hmm. also the environment, let's say. Mm -hmm. uh, that's so you go the, the more holistic, holistic actually too. Absolutely. Uh, I believe that true making, uh, doing foresight in a professional way, you have to look 360 degrees around. Mm -hmm. It's an integral perspective. It's not only technology. It's not only sales or marketing. It's everything. So, so after looking backwards, we look forward and we're mm -hmm. going to uh, check systematically what is uh, coming ahead of us from the technosphere, the world of science and technology, yeah. uh, the, the, the human world, uh, what different human behaviors are emerging, mm -hmm. but also so the business arena. Very holistic, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Business yeah. arena, the big bonanza of new business models, service models mm -hmm. that are uh, maybe disrupting. Mm -hmm. Uh, so the Three. third one, yeah, the third one uh, is that uh, you you decide what are the most critical uncertainties for your business. The most critical uncertainties. That's a tough question. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this might be: will will technology uh, explode in an exponential way, or or will it not? Uh, will uh, neo capitalism uh, will be the, the the status quo, or will it be something else? Uh, these are critical uncertainties for my company, my business, my government. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You decide. Two. So you pick out two to, yeah. to focus on. Yeah. And, and that, that, that results in a kind of matrix. Yeah. And in this matrix, you have four future windows, mm -hmm. four different possible futures. And you start to, to work with these four different futures. And that's how you then steer yeah. the strategic decisions Absolutely. to work. Because the reality, it won't be one of these four futures. It will be something else. But yeah. This will help you prepare. Yeah. That's the idea. What's number four? Number four is that you are going to roadmap. You are going to write your own scenarios, strategic scenarios on how to thrive in these four possible futures. Yeah. So the danger, I mean, as a company, I'm listening. Mm -hmm. I think it makes a lot of sense, of course. But isn't it there a danger that it will become way too holistic, that it won't touch base with what you're doing and it will become, I mean, if you're thinking about the AI will take over and that kind of stuff, you're going way beyond the, 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 the things you can control. So yeah. how, how can I bring back control? I understand your concern. Yeah. The, these four uh, steps that I just uh, figured help you to narrow it down. Yeah? Okay. Yeah? To narrow, narrow it down to, down to, to the these, uh, uh, between these uh, two critical uncertainties. Yeah. And it gives you the entire spectrum. So Michael, foresight, it's not predicting the future, but can I have my crystal ball just once? Just for once? Just one? Yeah. Okay, this is it. Okay. 
the next okay. decades, the yeah. next the next decades eh, will be all about ecology. This will be the ultimate macro trend. We could call it a giga trend or a petra trend, and I will tell you why. Mm -hmm. yeah? Because. Every transition we talk about now, whether we talk about a transition of mobility or digital manufacturing or energy transition, it is all related in a direct or indirect way to ecology as mm -hmm. one big cluster fuck. Yeah? Yeah. Ecology will define the future of every organization for the upcoming decades. So in, in that crystal ball, since this show is about sales and marketing, mm -hmm. you knew I would go there. Do you yeah. see something... Um, well, you, you see more revenue coming to me, actually? Uh, maybe, <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, uh, I, I guess I'm not an expert on that, no. but I guess what we all see is that there is a trend towards uh, marketing and sales automation, yeah. where AI is uh, one of our new colleagues who will help us predicting, qualifying yeah. leads and so on. That's one thing, that's a big thing. Mm -hmm. But I believe that uh, uh, the future is all about a sort, a sort of co-opportunity. Yeah. of uh, uh, outer intelligence, artificial intelligence and human intelligence. Mm -hmm. Because maybe, you, I guess you agree with me that sales will, is and always will be a human to human yeah. thing. So Stefan, I want to thank you for coming to the Chaos Show. I absolutely convinced that you do need to look to Foresight because it's going to make your company much more stable and future proof.